Now, do you ever feel trapped in a never ending cycle of negativity, unable to break free, repeating the same errors, envisioning bleak scenarios on repeat, or encountering the same unfortunate events repeatedly? Now, it might seem like bad luck or an inevitable fate, but did you know that you could be unconsciously training your brain to attract negativity? Well, that's where the reticular activating system or the RAS comes into play. Now, this powerful part of the brain acts as a built-in focus switch, influencing our ability to achieve our goals and manifest our dreams. Now, in this week's video, we'll explore the intriguing realm of the RAS, delving into how it functions and its profound impact on your life, your decision-making process, and the ability to manifest your deepest desires. Now, if you're new here, welcome. My name's Natalie Ledwell, and I'm a mindset coach and law of attraction expert. And I'm here to help you manifest your wildest dreams with science-based techniques, tools, and resources. Now, I post new videos every Thursday, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And before we start, and if you like these types of videos, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button below. It's super important as this way I know that these are the type of videos that you enjoy the most. All right, so let's dive in. So if you're new to the topic of the reticular activating system, or if you're struggling with manifesting your desires, then this will be a game changer for you. You're about to learn about an incredibly powerful and almost magical part of your brain that once you know how it works and how to use it to your advantage, you'll be able to train it to attract more abundance and happiness and less negativity, lack or frustration. So what is the reticular activating system? Well, the reticular activating system is a bundle of nerves that sits in your brainstem and, and it's there to keep you alive and sane. It does that by trying to automate your behavior as much as possible. It's responsible for several different functions in the body, including sleep, motivation, and breathing. But the function that I want to focus on today is the ability of the RAS to help you to filter out certain kinds of information. So simply put, think of your RAS as a filter within your brain that determines which information will be getting in and actually noticed by your conscious mind. Okay, so how does that work? So let's just say that you're at a gathering and there's a lot of people and there's lots of unfamiliar faces and music's blasting and basically there's a whole lot of going on and it's overloading your senses. And then, even though you're not searching for anyone in particular, you notice a familiar smile in the sea of faces. Now, how the heck did you manage to pick up on a single familiar face with all of that distraction going on? Well, that's thanks to your reticular activating system. So your RAS sorted through all of that information at light speed and filtered out what would likely be the most important piece of information for you. It then sends that information, and in this case, a familiar face, into your conscious mind for you to decide on what you wanna do next. So let's say that you're someone like me who isn't very interested in cars until it comes time to shop for a new one. <laughs> now, I remember years ago, I wanted to get a small economical car and I knew that I wanted it to be a convertible, but I didn't want a soft top convertible. I knew that I definitely wanted a hard top convertible car. Now, Glenn, who's my ex-husband, who's also my business partner now, he did a whole bunch of research and then came back to me and said that he thought that we should get something called an, a VW EOS. Now, I had no idea what the heck a VW EOS was. So he showed me a picture of it online. And it's kind of like this VW Golf type of car. And I thought, well, that looks pretty good. I, I quite like that car. And then, the next day, I started seeing EOSs all over the road. Now before that, I had never even known that they had existed. Now the difference is that now my RAS recognizes that the EOS model of car is of interest to me. So after researching the EOS model of car, my RAS became primed to look out for that model out of the hundreds of cars that I saw every day. So every time I saw an EOS, my RAS bumped it up into my conscious mind. So I actually noticed it. See how it works? So the RAS basically acts as the gatekeeper between the subconscious mind 
and the conscious mind to only let through the information that is of relevance or interest to you. Now, if you'd like to put this into action and start reprogramming your brain to manifest what you want right away, well, then I'm going to leave a link in the description below with six pre-made mind movies. Now, these are three minute mind movies that you need to watch daily. Now, I want you to make sure that you have all of the tools and resources that you need to be able to achieve your goals this year. Now, remember, these resources are free and they're for you down below the description box. Now, remember I asked you if you felt trapped in a vicious cycle of negativity and unable to break free? Well, that's because the same way we train our brain to focus on the good and the positive, sometimes your RAS can act oppositely by making you focus on self-defeating thoughts and can cause you to stop perceiving the real opportunities that already exist right in front of you. That's why it's crucial to not only know how your RAS works, but also to pay attention and be careful when it's not helping us reach our goals, as we can find evidence for both good and bad things. So if we keep thinking about failure and pay attention to it, the RAS will show us more evidence of failures. So how can you use your RAS to achieve your goals? Well, to harness your RAS to achieve your goals, you need to follow three steps. Step number one is to start by getting very clear about what it is that you want with as much detail as possible. Number two is to visualize the experience or the outcome that you desire, picturing it vividly in your mind. What does it look like? What does it sound like? What does it feel like? What do you see? And step number three is to repeat this visualization regularly to reinforce it. Repetition is the key because the more you visualize your future, the greater confidence and security that you will have and the more you're going to create this great life. So once you've defined your goal and consistently visualize it, your conscious and subconscious minds will work together to help you achieve it. Same with your core beliefs. Start by paying attention to your self-talk. If you notice any negative, discouraging or limiting beliefs, work on changing them. So instead, feed your RAS positive, empowering beliefs about your abilities, your progress, and confidence in achieving your goals. You will be amazed at how quickly things shift when your brain is actively seeking evidence of your capabilities and your success and your progress towards your goals, rather than focusing on the opposite. So I hope that you try this ASAP, and please leave me a comment and let me know if you did. I would love to hear from you.